We're at the Greater New York Dental Meeting where Henry Schein is one of the sponsors of the Women Dentist Leadership Conference. And what can you tell us about the conference today? So the Women's Leadership Conference, this is the first one of its kind uh, being held at the Greater New York Meeting mm -hmm. where they had leaders within the dental industry, whether it's um, leaders from different suppliers like Dentist by Serona mm -hmm. or leaders that are um, within the, the dental trade, dentists and others of that, of that sort where they got to share their personal experiences and their successes and how to groom future dentists, female dentists within the dental industry. And what drove the creation of this uh, this conference? I think this was initiated through some colleagues of mine within Henry Shine, Seema Bansali and Jennifer Kim Field, mm -hmm. where the two women who were coordinated it reached out and they asked if Henry Shine could participate. Mm -hmm. So uh, since we have a women's leadership network at Henry Shine called the um, Women's Leadership Network, which is mm -hmm. our first employee resource group, we thought this would be a great thing to partner on because this is a topic that resonates with us, mm -hmm. where we're really trying to groom and mentor future leaders within the dental space, especially dentists and dental assistants and dental hygienists, because there's a need for more women to get into this profession. Good. And uh, who are some of the speakers you had today? I gotta look at that. There was a, they had a, a few panel discussions, mm -hmm. um, which was really, really great. They also had some congresswomen come in. Or, uh, so, um, Congresswoman Grace Meng, she okay. was really, really great. Um, there's a woman, Allie. I'm sorry, I just. Uh, I only saw that first. Andy. Andy Jean Myro, she was amazing too. All the speakers really shared their personal stories mm -hmm. of how they got into the dental business and where that actually took them within their career. Okay, and what were some of the the lessons or takeaways that people who sat in on these sessions were able to learn from the conference so far? I think it was really important to find mentors and sponsors that can help you and guide you in your career. Mm -hmm. um, I think women also tend to be a little bit more reserved and not really have a seat at the table where mm -hmm. they were saying, you know, you have a voice use it don't be afraid to use it mm -hmm. um, I think it was just empowering women and making us all feel that even the things that we're concerned about mm -hmm. we all feel the same way we're all in the same boat okay. so not feel like you're on a desert island the only one experiencing it we all feel that way and mm -hmm. just really having more confidence mm -hmm. in what we do and um, looking at the future um, what are you seeing in for example today's dental schools now that Graduates are starting to reach parity. I think it's 51% 51 percent. 51 percent of the now. females, right? So that's really great, and it's mm -hmm. amazing to see that happening. But now it's also getting them branching out into different areas, like maybe on the clinical aspect or the teaching aspect. Mm -hmm. So they're saying that there's still not a high percentage of women getting into those areas, mm -hmm. and they're really trying to empower women that, that actually maybe go and become a dentist to look at other avenues, maybe just not just practicing dentistry, but also okay. applying it in different areas within the field. Okay. And what are some of the other um, challenges that, that women, are in women are facing in dentistry now and in the years ahead? Well, I think some of the challenges, to be quite frank, is some of the equipment needs mm -hmm. to be modified for women. I know they're doing it within the handpiece space. But just mm -hmm. thinking of a woman and her build and maybe her hands are a little bit smaller, just taking that into consideration when you're thinking about coming out with a new piece of equipment mm -hmm. or new technology, keeping the mindset that it's not just a male that's going to be using it, there's going to be a female using it. Okay. So I think that's really critical. So ergonomics does play a role. Plays a huge role. Mm -hmm. Huge role, definitely. And also, um, one of the other issues that we're seeing among younger dentists and graduating dentists um, many dentists are, are leaving dental school now with uh, with debt, and um, also the importance of work life balance. Right. Uh, how, how do you deal with the finances, which is such a challenge when you first enter the enter the career? Yeah, I wish I had the answer to that because everybody has that situation. Mm -hmm. But I think trying to find something that I think more people now are understanding the need for work life balance, where I think that wasn't really an important aspect of anybody's career when they were going into dentistry they were like mm -hmm. all right this is what you need to do and you got to figure a way around it mm -hmm. where now i think people are more inclined to think about the work-life balance and i think they're being more um, understanding about modifying your time that you spend in the office based on those needs because mm -hmm. if you're not happy at home right. how are you going to be a successful dentist right that's going to resonate with your patients that's going to resonate with your personality maybe your temperament so you have to find that balance mm -hmm. so that both areas benefits.
Okay, and um, not just uh, young dentists and recent graduates, but women overall, where can they reach out to to get some of that mentorship you were talking about? Or uh, some of these other kinds of supports that you're finding that really are effective in helping to support a career? Well, actually attending events like this, I think, is really important. Mm -hmm. um, but mentors and sponsors don't always have to be women. Okay. They could also be men as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, you know, just reaching out to somebody that maybe, like, we saw these speakers today, and some of them really resonated with me, maybe reaching out to them through LinkedIn and saying, I heard you speak at this event. Mm -hmm. I'd love to be able to maybe spend a little bit more time with you and understand, like, you know, how you got to where you are today. Maybe you can give me some words of wisdom that can help me in my career. Mm -hmm. So sort of reaching out, because I think... Sometimes people are very shy to do that, but it's a compliment when somebody reaches out to you and says, I'd love to spend a few minutes with you and understand how you got to where you are today and you know, explain your journey. Mm -hmm. And uh, this being um, the first year of the conference? First year. Okay, and looking ahead to next year, how do you think you could expand it? I definitely think we're going to have a year or two for this conference. Uh -huh. um, I think just trying to get maybe a little bit more publicity around it prior to the event, because we really weren't sure, first time coming out, you uh -huh. don't know what kind of response you're going to get. Mm -hmm. But it seems like we tapped into a topic that a lot of women in dentistry are interested in, so mm -hmm. we're hoping to expand it further for 2020. Mm -hmm. And maybe get more people on the podium that can come in. They have a lot of podium event, you know, speakers and like panel discussions. I think trying to get more of those individuals to participate would be really great. Okay. And any, um, anything else about the conference you'd like to add, either about this year's event, next year's event, or what people can do in between? Reach out. I mean, we can definitely. I know there's a lot of information that was sent out. I think right before the meeting. Mm -hmm. But you know, we're looking at all these different uh, women that actually in leadership roles that participated. Reach out to them. Touch base with them. Don't be shy. Mm -hmm. And you know, just so you put yourself out there. Okay, great. Well, thank you for your time today, and good luck with next year's conference. Thank you. Appreciate it.